the First World War was over and Russia was still trying to recover from its effects in Petrograd. The situation was sternly serious. Strangely, the River Neva literally seemed to highlight the social and economic divide in the city. To the left of the Neva were the well-to-do areas such as the Winter Palace, official buildings and the place where the Duma met. To the right of the Neva were the workers' quarters and factories. In February of 1917, workers from around 50 factories on the right bank of Neva called a strike. In many places, the women led the strike. Did you know that in order to commemorate this event, 22nd February is today celebrated the world over as International Women's Day. Workers moved to the left side of the river bank and by the end of the day, the fashionable quarters and official buildings were surrounded by workers. The government responded by calling in troops to control the situation. It then suspended the Duma. This was the last straw. The protests became louder and more violent. The soldiers refused to fire at the protesters. Instead, they joined them. The striking workers and the soldiers got together and formed the Petrograd Soviet. The Tsar was finally forced to abdicate. Russia was finally free from the monarchy and a provincial government was formed. Lenin saw this as the apt time to return to Russia from his exile. He propagated the three key points from his April theses. Bringing the war to an end, transferring land to the peasants and the nationalization of banks. In addition, he wanted the Bolshevik party to rename itself as the Communist Party. The provincial government, headed by Kerensky, saw Lenin as a threat and started arresting the Bolsheviks and resisting the spread of their ideas. Lenin feared that Kerensky was setting up a dictatorship and he convinced the Bolsheviks to stage an uprising. He appointed a military revolutionary committee under Leon Trotsky to organize the uprising. In October 1917, the Bolsheviks, with the help of Leon Trotsky, successfully seized power from the provincial government. So the year 1917 was very eventful for Russia as it saw the fall of the monarchy the rise and fall of the Kerensky government and finally the rise of Lenin and the Bolsheviks.